Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Home DIY channel with your host, Josh. Of course, that's me, guys. So today, I'm gonna show you guys install, replace, and of course, take tear an outlet with the power on. Ooh, ah. It's easy. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm used to doing it with power on. Pull the outlet out and kind of pull these wires out. They're a little bit easier to get to. All right, so obviously black's got power. The white, which is a neutral here, we got the ground right here. I get it. It's, it's really frustrating how having to go to the panel, figuring out what breaker controls this one single outlet, shutting it off. It is a pain. The easiest way of doing this. I'm going to show you guys how the electrical probe make the big bucks doing stuff like this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Uh, the wire net here going to the black's off. Obviously, right now, we started off with... with with the black wire the hot the reason is you do not want to start with the neutral you do not want to start with the ground you never want to do that because you still want everything to be be protected so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out like so put the wire nut back on there for now until we get everything else here disconnected the neutral obviously you got you guys see the little sparks right here you don't touch that go ahead and take the wire nut off of that and there you go we are now left with this outlet with the pigtail still attached to it uh, in this situation we're so gonna pull out the grounds as far as possible in the box then you're going to want to put sleeve right over it and make sure you guys get all those all the grounds in in this sleeve right there we're going to go ahead and crimp this copper on here i'm going to go ahead and cut these off like so i'm going to leave this one and i'm going to grab another crimp put this thing on here just like so copper's done and shove that in in the back like so what you want is a nice piece of size copper like this hanging out i'll just let let it sit there they'll just bend it up where your hand won't get anywhere near it we're gonna go ahead and take that red wire nut off and you guys see see the neutrals right there twisting it makes it a little bit easier to put the wire nut on and there's a better connection now we're gonna go ahead and put the white pigtail on here the neutral's done we're gonna go ahead and move that it's the neutral here out of the way. I'm trying to see if we can shove this thing in here with no issues. I'm gonna go ahead and strip strip the black here. This is where, where the power is gonna be coming in at. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna push this again away from me. Took the wire nut off. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put that wire nut back on with the new pigtail. We're gonna go ahead and flip the, the black in in the box like so the ground is going to go back on this green screw right here the neutral is always going to go on the silver side the silver screw right here and then once you flip it over right here the black is, is, is going to go on get the wire not too long but right there you guys don't don't want the wire out too far you guys are going to want to put that put the ground wire through that and bend it in a horseshoe so i'm going to go ahead and slip this thing back on like so there you go Ground's on. Now let's do, do the neutral. Again, the neutral is gonna have power on, so be very, very, very careful, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right there. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and strip that right there. We're gonna strip it a little bit more to where it'll go in. And I mean, you do not want to strip barely enough or it will not sit on there right. Now, once I make this connection on here, this side of this outlet right here, you can do not touch. So we're gonna go ahead Twist it like so. Half the outlet's done. We're almost there, guys. Now the black. First things first again. Grab it with your fist and then cut it right about there. I'm gonna strip this back. There you go. Now, to confirm, power is on. If you guys, we're gonna test that in three, two, one. Boom, there you go. You guys saw saw the spark, power is on. Now, power is off, the breaker tripped. So that's a good sign. You guys don't have to do that. It's just one of those, let me show you guys how to do it. All right, so I stripped this out uh, into a horseshoe, back, that, back the screw out a little bit more. And there you go. All right, you guys, wired up. You guys are gonna wanna just fold the wires in. And there you go. And there you go, guys. That is wired up, power's on. You guys wired up right, you guys. When you guys put the tester in, you guys should be seeing two lights, just like that. Means you guys wired it up right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is a bit of a pain when you guys have one outlet that needs to be uh, replaced. And not just that, but most of the electrical panels that, that I've seen, they're either not marked or they're marked incorrectly. So make sure you guys like the video. Jump down there uh, in the comments, guys, for me. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later, guys.